Right, pop the balloon or find love. Episode 20. Right, let's get into this, man. Hello, All right, let's everyone, go. Come welcome on. Welcome back to my channel. It's your host, Arlette, and we are back with another episode of Pop the Balloon or Find Love. And we've got some single men lined oh, up. Oh, make some noise, guys. It's men now. Oh, okay, okay. It's stop it around. <laughs> So we Wavy. are going to be bringing out some single women We're locked to in. come around this corner one by one. If you're feeling her, you know, outfits on point, makeup on fleek, whatever it is, do not pop your balloon. However, if there's anything like maybe she says something that's a red flag to you or you just cannot see yourself dating her, go ahead and pop that balloon and I'll go over to a few of you, see why you ended up popping. Are we ready? Okay. All right. So with that being said, let's go ahead and bring out our first single lady. Number two is a TikTok star. Oh, Hello, swear. Welcome in. What's your name? My name is Nucci. Hey, Nucci. How old are you? I'm 25. I'll be 26 soon. Okay. 25. And what do you do? I am an artist uh -huh. as well as a behavioral health tech, and I'm also a stripper. <laughs> okay. Now, what oh! kind of artist are you? I rap. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So, anything we should be looking out for? Anything soon? Yes, actually, I dropped a song yesterday, so go ahead and check that out, you guys. Okay. Showgirl Nucci on YouTube and Instagram. All right. WL promo. Check that out. <laughs> now, what are some things you like to do for Damn. fun? Damn! Um, I like to write music. Uh, I love movies. Like, I really like, I grew up watching movies. Like, my grandma would sneak us into the movies. <laughs> like, we would pay for no, one. No, 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 no. Not show girl, Nucci first show, we will be there. No, 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 no. You will be there, buddy. You will be there. Another one would okay. pay for it, so yeah. <laughs> love movies. Um, I love to hike. I like to work out as well. Um, anybody that knows me knows that when I was like heavily into my working out like regimen, mm -hmm. I was working out like five, six days a week. I got really small, pumped up a little bit, but I mm -hmm. like myself both sizes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, what are some things you look for in a man? Um... Just security within yourself, confidence, um, a guy that has like goals mm -hmm. um, and actually like doing something to achieve them. Yeah. Okay. Now what are some deal breakers? Ooh, deal breakers. Um, a guy like if you if you've met me, if you've been around me, humbly, I do get attention. Of course she's so still like, if you know that about me and you want to pursue me, mm -hmm. then that's definitely something like if you tend to get insecure about the attention that I get, that's something that would make me like kind of stray away from you. Mm, okay. You said if you right. backed so her, you wouldn't need a um, cushion a again. Pop balloons. What? Let's go on over there and see why they ended up popping. <laughs> okay. All right, let's start with your name and age. Uh, I'm Trey, I'm 25. And Trey, what w do you Trey? do? Uh, I'm a development project manager at a tech company. Okay. And so why did you end up popping your balloon? Uh, just a profession. Stripper. That's not my preference. <laughs> no, nah, honestly, I thought it was going to be that would pop. So I understand. Yeah, man. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Hi. All right. Now, is, uh, is he someone that's your type? Um, you're dressed very well. Great smile. Just um, if we're going off everyday life, I probably wouldn't entertain. Oh, wow. Nothing against you. You're very handsome. No, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. Now, is there something there that's making you say you wouldn't entertain him? Um, I think I just, <laughs> I think okay. I just like a more like brolicky guy, like a little oh, bit more like stocky, like, mm, like you know. Got it. So she wants a number one. <laughs> no, cowboy. not that saying like no, you're, you're not that, but just, just for me, I'm a big good. girl. So I understand. Yeah. Let's go. All right, cool. Thank you. And let's go down over here. Your name and age. Oh, I need to move uh, yeah, my, my name. My name is Key. Bye. I'm 28. And Key, what do you do? Uh, I own a trucking business. Hey, where do you guys want cool. me to put the camera? Now, chat? Now, popping your balloon? Uh, just a profession. Where do you guys want me to put the camera? It's gonna have to. We're gonna have to live over here. Profession, same thing. Uh, very pretty girl. Thank just you. Profession, yeah. That's Sorry, it. I'm sweating. It's hot. Chat, <laughs> chat moving crazy. Okay. And chat moving crazy. Your chat. Love your complexion. Like that was definitely the first thing that caught my eye when I walked out here. Appreciate um, it. Love the waves as well. Um, I probably would entertain you if you approached me. So yeah. Mm. Okay. okay. Cool, cool. Thank you. All right. So we still do no. have quite a few balloons left on pop. Nah. I'm going to go ahead and have you ask these guys a question, help you narrow it down. Ooh. Um, damn, I didn't really think about this. Oh, girl. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, do any of you guys have children? You are, do? Are kids a deal breaker for you? Yeah. Okay. So Ooh. let's head on over here. Ooh. Let's start with your name and age. My name is John. I'm 31. John, what do you do? Uh, I'm an area space tech and I uh, do content. So, okay, got it. So she did pop on you for the kids. Um, 
Why did you have your balloon unpop for her, though, prior to that? I mean, I'm not really shallow. You feel me? I like to get to know the person, so I was just trying to fill her up. Okay. Got it, got it. By the way, that outfit's now, horror. Just saying. I know the kids is deal breaker, horror. but is he someone that's your type? Horror. Uh, nah. Bro, chat, what's them biscuits, blood? What's them biscuits, man? Bro, looks like them biscuits, bro. What's them biscuits in the UK? Oh, my days. The sweet joints. The sweet joints, bro. The shortbread. He looks like a shortbread, fam. What? Come on, man. Nah, come um, on, man. Horror. You're so cute. Like, let me just say that. You're, like, really cute, but, like... If I'm going to be with somebody, I need somebody that's, like, fine to me. Like, you fine to to a lot of girls, I'm sure. But yeah. to me, like... Most of looking I like a dress. snap. I like the way you're Yeah, dressed. your words. Yeah. That's cool. That was pretty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All righty. So, everyone else has no kids. Any other questions? Um... <laughs> this is dumb, but, like, I do want to know your guys' signs. Okay. Oh, my... Yeah, W man's. <laughs> W man, okay, I'm going to pop you based off your sign. I just want to know. Nah, <laughs> we'll start pop here that, with bro. Your name and age. Uh, my name is Dante. I'm 25. Yo, Dante, what do you do? Uh, I'm a famous adult uh, entertainer and also a uh, YouTuber as well. Whoa, oh, got yeah. it. So to answer a question, what's what your sign? What the? I'm a Sagittarius. Okay, a I like Sag. Sag. Yeah. Okay. Good. We'll come back. Name and age. <sighs> name Justin, and 26. Okay. And what do you do? And I own a. Uh, Online business, so yeah. Okay. And what's your sign? I'm Cancer. Okay, I like Cancer. You guys are very like emotionally oh, intelligent shit. and like just like intuitive when it comes to emotions. Oh, for sure, yeah. I like that. Yeah. And you guys like really make people feel comfortable. Like no sign, I feel like mm -hmm. is better at doing that than a Cancer. So yeah, that's how it is. For I sure. like that. Yeah. Oh. Name what? and age? Chris, twenty-seven. And Chris, what? what do you do? I got a couple jobs. Uh, I'm a realtor first. Mm. And then I work at a community center with kids, and then I work at two nonprofits. Okay. Yeah. All right. I like that. What's your sign? Scorpio. I have a love hate <laughs> relationship with you guys. Like, I love you guys, but you guys are toxic. At least a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> yeah, at least you know. <laughs> All right, thank you. And we did get a pop. Let's head on back this way. Your name and age? My name's Ryan. I'm 26. And Ryan, what do you do? I own uh, two different media companies. Okay. So w you didn't end up popping your balloon when she asked, what's your sign? What's up? What's going on? Um, yeah, it's just the sign thing. I just never got into that. And I don't even like speaking about that. Yeah. Okay. W man. I understand. W man. Like a lot of guys are like that. W so man. I don't fault you for that. All good. <laughs> All right. So prior to her asking about signs, you did have your balloon unpopped. Why so? I kind of wanted to hear her out. The profession thing did kind of take me through a little loop, but I was, I was still open. Um, yeah, so and, and she's Rhino thinking and of all oatmeal, yeah. so oh, I, was I gonna mean, say peanut butter, I like that. So, <laughs> so I was like, I was like, no, we can, uh, I just want to hear what she had to say. Okay, got it, got mm -hmm. it. Now, is Ryan someone that's your type? No, because oh, you're just a smidgen too light skin for me. I know I'm light skin as well. Oh, but oh, shit. I like them a little bit brown to dark skin. What the? That's cool. Okay. All right, cool. Bro, what the hell? Nah, she out here trying to describe how she likes her steak or some shit. How about she, what the fuck, bro, pop all the balloons, man. Get her going, pack her up, man. Man, I, I think I'm light skinned. I don't know, like, you feel you me? You know, as light as him. Light, light. <laughs> you pack her up, man. Chance. Hey, I mean, look, I didn't know. You should have been clear on me. <laughs> But it's all good. Well, I did say brown to light skin. To bro, me, like, you're, I mean, you are bro, kind of like on the cusp up, of light, yeah, yeah. but you are, to pack me, you up, have a little man. bit more melanin. Okay, for you know. sure. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay. What the hell yeah. she on? Damn, okay. So, Did you want that balloon back or something? Right. No, fuck that. Nah. Why you bite your lip like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and get that balloon back. Nah, bro, you fumbled. Nah, he fumbled. Nah, he fumbled. He fumbled. He fumbled. He fumbled. Okay, we'll be back for you then. He ended up popping as well. What's going on? Same thing, you know. I'm light skin, as everybody can see. She said brown skin to dark skin. Maybe I should have specified like like light bright, right? Type shit. Light yeah. bright. What? The like, there's nothing wrong with light brights at all. Like all yeah, yeah, complexions yeah. are beautiful. It's just a preference. Yeah, no, I feel yeah. you. But you, yeah, no, you're you're damn near the same color. Yeah, you're the same color. I'm, I just, I'm, I've been light skin my whole life. <laughs> yeah, I'm only dark as we in Arizona right now. Okay. All right. So you want him to get? Well, I don't know. I mean, it's up to him. It's up to you. You want the balloon back or no? 
Right, shit. right. Like, what the hell? I think is I'm gonna dispel. I just want to see what else okay. is out there. No, no, okay. problem. no problem. All right. So is he someone that is your type? Nah, she's um, stupid. <laughs> I, can't lie. I love the way you're dressed. You said it. Very handsome. I probably wouldn't, in the real world, entertain. Okay. Type shit. Okay. So prior to her saying the whole light skin thing, why'd you have your balloon unpopped? Well, she cold. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, my voice gone. Uh -huh. Yeah, but she cold. Thank you. Thick as hell, yeah. <laughs> and we did and get a pop is. down here. All right. All right. Your name and age. All right. How you doing? My name is Nati. Okay. I'm 25. Okay. And Nati, sorry, what wait, are you? What's your name? Nati. Nati. N Nati. Yeah. Okay. Like Ethiopian then. Okay. okay. And like what do you I'll do? Ethiopian. I'm a project engineer for a general contractor full time, and then do a little freelance estimating on the side. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So why'd you end up popping your balloon? Well, first I'm an I'm an Aries. That, that, um, but yeah, when people ask me about my sign, I feel like they're making a lot of assumptions about the sign. To be honest, I don't believe in that at all. Yeah. Um, but you're cool though, you know, you're pretty. And, Thank you. you. Know, I think we'd be good friends, but yeah. That's I think it, so you know. too. And honestly, let me just elaborate on like the Zodiac question. Like I would never cancel somebody because of their Zodiac sign. Like that's dumb. So, but like I do, like I'm a Virgo. So like a lot of the things oh that they say about Virgos is very true for me personally. So like, I just like, it gives me kind of like a little insight of what your personality could look like. But sure. obviously, I would give you the chance to, like, you know, indulge me in who you really are. That's cool. Okay, thank you. Let's head on back. Mm. Okay, so mm. we do have two guys left. I'm going to go ahead and see if you guys have any questions for her. You do? Okay, let's start here. Uh, what is submission to you? Submission. What is being Ooh. a submissive woman? Submissive is, like, allowing my man to lead. So, like, um, let's say, like... Let's say we want to buy a house or something, yeah. mm. and I want to live in one area, but you tell me that you want to live in this area for this, that, and this reason. I'm going to listen to you, and if I feel like, okay, my man has proved to me that he can lead, I think he knows what he's talking about. If we move here, it might not be the best idea, so I'm going to go with what my man says. What do you mean prove to you? Um, just like letting me know that you have like you know what you're doing, basically. Just like financially, spiritually, mentally, with your goals. If you say that... Hey, Lucky, let me ask you this question, right? You you are one of those people who see a female, whether it be Twitter, TikTok, whatever, and you're those people in the comment section that will be saying, what's the app? What's the app? What's her app? What's the app? What's the app? What's her app? What's her app? When you get this app, what do you do? Like genuinely, I'm actually concerned. Like, what, what 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 do you do? Okay, you got the app. Now what? What do you do for personal reasons? What reasons though? You have the app. What do you do? You send a message. Oh, the hand comes out. Right, right. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. That you have goals and you haven't achieved okay. any of them, then why would I let you got do it. anything that has to do with me? Got it. So just proving you. Got it. Got it. Any questions here? <laughs> what city you stay? I mean, where you stay? Like. <laughs> I stay in Phoenix. You stay in Phoenix? Yes, sir. Or I stay in Cali, so I don't know. Ooh. Long distance. Long oh. distance. I don't know about that one. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> no, do you mean this? Do you mean this pop now for the second time? So long distance is no for you. No, I, okay. I can't do that. Okay, so you did have him get his balloon back. Is he someone that's your type? He's handsome, yeah. I would I would entertain him. Okay. Oh, entertain? Look at Lucky's oh. Twitch picture. Hold on. Oh, no. I would, uh, did I say something back? Saw a picture of me, though, entertain. right? Yeah. Which Entertain is. the idea of getting to know you. Okay. Just like you would do that for me, right? I feel you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I feel that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back this way. Why did we end up popping? So just I had to think about what she was saying about the submission. So before I got famous, before I had anything, I had my ex of uh, three years. I was trying to marry and stuff like that. But she didn't believe in the hustle. She didn't believe what I was doing and stuff like that. I didn't have the results. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? With that? And she didn't believe in what what's happening and I told her what exactly was going to happen mm -hmm. to where I am today and stuff like that. It's like, okay, I can't entrust that. Oh, I might not have it in five years. I might have it in two years. It might happen in six years. Mm -hmm. You feel me? But like you thinking that, <laughs> oh, you don't have the results yet. You know, a lot of people don't have results yet. You feel me type shit? Don't come overnight. It don't come over in a year. Don't come over mm. in three. Mm -hmm. You got to stick and ride. If you mean, and if you're not going to do that, I, Nah, cowboy hat is insane. I can't lie. Beat it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> cowboy Not hat like is insane. All right, well, Nucci, that is all the balloons popped. But we do thank you so much for coming on. Let's oh, go ahead and give ready? it up for her, guys. Thank One you, guys. Set. 
Give it up. Okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. Who's next? Why is it so delayed? Hello, like, why is it take so long? In. What's your name? Tosh. Tosh, how old are you? I'm 25. And what do you do? I'm a registered Tosh. nurse. Okay, very nurse. nice. Okay. Uh, what are some things I like to do for fun? Um, I love to travel. I really love Pilates. I love trying like yoga classes, working out, spending time with friends and family. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> now, what are some things you look for in a man? Um, first, you have to have a relationship with God. You have to be family oriented. You have to have great communication skills. Um, you have to be romantic. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and now, what are some of your deal breakers? Um, you don't have a relationship with God. Um, the kids, it depends. It depends. It depends. Uh -oh. Yeah. Um, you're not romantic. You can't communicate. She said so, yeah. Pilates. She okay. likes Pilates. Right. Yeah. So we did get a pop balloon. Oh, chat. You guys want to see food down or not? See what's going on. Can't lie, chat. Hey, your name and age. How you doing? My name is Nati. I'm 25 years old. Wait, did it? Did Nati, it why did you end up popping your balloon? No, First off, you're very pretty. And uh, all my family's in healthcare, too, so I like the cheer registered nurse. That's very cool. Um, right now in my life, I'm not really a, I wouldn't identify as a Christian or anything religious. Per, uh, <clears throat> but, um, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. But, I mean, you're cool, though. I like it. Mm. Hey, thank right. you. <laughs> now, is Nati someone that's your type? say he's very handsome so yeah thank you no i can't agent this man thank this you. food is good all right too uh, good we do still have quite a few balloons left unpopped um hmm okay i'm gonna switch it up i'm gonna hand you a pick and i'm gonna have you pop two balloons based off of what you're seeing so far who may that early your type outfit whatever it is i'm gonna go ahead and hand that over to you okay and go ahead and pop those two um uh, okay. Oh, and one no. More. Um, okay, let's start over here since we're here. Name and age? Uh, Dante. Hey, it's crazy here, dude. And Dante, up, why bro, did you Andy? have your balloon unpopped? Uh, you melanated. Bro, chocolate <laughs> man. Hey, haven't seen one like that in Arizona in a long time. So, okay. hey, it looks smooth, you feel me? <laughs> Got it. So, why did you end up popping his balloon? Um, you just seem very flashy, like that. Oh. Pearson, yeah, it's very flashy. I don't like flashy men. Mm. Oh, this is actually subtle today, too. <laughs> oh, really? yeah, this is subtle. Ooh. So that means you are flashy, then. Oh, well, I got everything I got. You know okay. what I'm saying? <laughs> right, you know what I'm saying? If you see my garage, if you, you're probably going to call me flashy. So, like, got cool. It. Like, it is what it is. Okay. Fair play. Right. And then we did pop one more. Let's head down over here. You must have money, then. Okay, your name and age? John, I'm 31. And John, why did you have your balloon unpopped? I mean, she fine. You feel me? I love a chocolate woman, so I see you blushing. But yeah, that's why I had my uh, um, balloon unpopped. Okay, got it. And now, why did you end up popping his? Um, I don't really like dreads. That's why. That's why I like a cut, nice cut. But yeah, that's the only reason. I thought she was gonna be with the uh, Sorry. Ja Jamaican type. Ah! You feel me? Just got the ah! safari. She like Duke Dennis. You feel me? But I mean, Thank I feel you. you. I feel you. Cap. She likes Duke Dennis. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Ooh, oh, all right. Oh, Name shit. and age? Chris, 27. Okay, Chris, why did you end up popping your balloon? Because she don't like dreads. And I used to have dreads, and when it's summer, I'm going to put, put them back in, so mm -hmm. she going to hate me. <laughs> I mean, I like them pull back. Yours look nice. See? Yeah, I appreciate peak. it. Peak. Yeah. But you're very pretty, though. Thank real, you. Real. Thank you. And now, is he someone that's your type? Um, I don't know. I have to learn more. Ooh. More about him. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, mysterious. Well, right, right. Yeah. We'll let her slide with that. <laughs> All right, so we do have four balloons left unpopped. Go ahead and ask these guys a question to help you narrow it down. Um, okay, so what do you guys like to do for fun? Okay, let's mm. start here with your name and age. My name's Ryan, I'm 26. Ryan, what do you like to do for fun? I like to stay active, so I like going on hikes. I like going to museums. Okay. I think I'm very much a morning person, so less about nightlife activities and more about anything we can do early in the day um yeah that makes sense okay okay yep okay name and age my name is justin and uh my age is 26. okay and now uh justin what do you like to do for fun i like to go skating you know like roller skating and everything you know i'm real active mm -hmm. and you know i love to play basketball too you know so that's what i love to, love to do you know okay. and i love to eat different food places and everything too so mm. yeah. okay all right let's go on over here your name and age i'm um, trey 25 years old Trey, what do you like to do for fun? 
Uh, I I love friends and family. I'm a very big family oriented person, whether it's chosen family or biological family. I spend a lot of times with my she has some, pastors, my nah, friends. She ha- oh shit, wrong I have thing. some friends that live in other states, so I get on the game with them from time to time. Yeah, no, nah, shit. With number two, the light skin brother, she was locked in. She definitely, she's definitely feeling them. You could tell, man. I agree. Uh, I agree with you. That's really it. I'm a really relaxed person, but she I love adventure. She was locked in. Like, I, I'm in a part of my life where I'm doing stuff that I enjoy. Like, I just went skydiving. I'm doing this. I'm putting myself out there trying to do stuff that I enjoy, learn more about myself. Okay. Name and age? Um, Key, 28. Okay. Key, what do you like to do for Oh, fun? they would look good uh, together. So for fun, I like to, yeah, I'm a laid back guy, real chill, simple. Uh, just hang out with friends, catch a sports game here and there. Uh, you know, take a walk in the park, something, you know, catch a movie. I'm I'm low maintenance. I don't really do too much, so. Mm. Yeah, that's really it. All right. (laughs) Okay. So based off of all this information you heard, I'm gonna have you pop one balloon. Um. Hey, big up, Keenan. Next round. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Uh. Um. Bro's obsessed with pineapple, bro. The pineapple girl. All right. Mm. What do you end up popping his? Um, I just like the what? rest of their answers better. I mean, nothing you said is wrong. Like, I like to work out, too, and do the same things. But what? I just like their answers better. Cool. So she wasn't locked in. She was zoned out. What? Yeah. So, Ryan, why did you have your balloon unpopped for her? I mean, she seems really what? mature. And uh, I know you said you're a nurse, right? Yes. That's a hard thing to get into and takes a lot of discipline. And, like, so I'm just mm-hmm. a great person. Yes. Like, all around, Thank like, 360. You. Thank you. Right. Nah. We do have that's got to be rigged. Le- oh, three. He was hiding his balloon. <laughs> Shot, that's got to be rigged. Three guys left. Go ahead and ask them another question. Um, where do you guys see yourself in five years? Okay. Ooh. Where do you see yourself question. in five years? Investments, real estate. You know, get into that. You know, and uh, honestly, I want to do some traveling too. I want to do a little traveling and everything. So, yeah, that's the main thing right there in progressing in business. Yeah. You know, so. Okay. Investments. Okay, what's going over here? Why do they keep cutting it to my man? What was your question again? Um, where do you see yourself in five years? Uh, in five years, I see myself building. I think five years, it's it's good to have an idea of what you want to do. I'd like to be like, have a higher paying job, have a you want to be on the moon, an apartment. Ooh, I like that also. with my family. But I think the the best thing about looking forward is like having just like a purpose and a, and a knack to go forward. Mm-hmm. Like, if you asked me five years ago where I saw myself in five years, I wouldn't say here. I'm so much farther than I was in a different area, like in a different direction. And so I just see myself moving forward. Mm. Okay, where do you see yourself in five years? Mm. Uh, in the next five years, hopefully, uh, you know, I plan to keep growing my business, uh, be a homeowner, marry, at least have, you know, maybe one kid by then. Uh, yeah, but I'm not going to lie. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pop. It's nothing, nothing against you. I mean, you're a beautiful girl. It's just... Uh, you seem very like you know soft spoken, real chill, laid back. What I am too, so I need someone to kind of like on the opposite spectrum of that. You know. Wow. Okay. That's really it. Yeah, I am. I am. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go, okay. Lucky. That's, that's it. But yeah. Okay. Got it. All right. But she was someone that is your type. Yeah, she she's very pretty. Uh, you know, I probably What's I'd up, definitely approach her if I seen her out. Got it. Okay. Okay. Now is he someone that's your type? Yeah, I think so. Mm. Yeah. All right. Okay. okay. Thank you. Right. Okay. So we've got our two guys left. Guys, any questions for our girl? You got one? What's your love language? Um, Good question. I would say my love language exactly is slim. affirmation. Okay. Yeah. yeah no, acts of service. Let me change that. Acts, acts of, of service. service. That's my love language. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Sure. Yeah. Okay. All right. The dread journey is getting that's getting that's getting that. See, I'm a real affectionate man. You feel me? So... I'm big on like I don't know where that goes into like mm-hmm. affection, uh, what, affection, uh, physical, yeah, yeah, physical touch because you know it's actually reason because like I got two loving parents at home. You feel me, mom and dad. Chat, what's your love language? What I'm used to seeing, you know, they got a good relationship with each other, so you know that's why I picked up on it, you know. So that's what I like. Okay. Yeah. Any questions down here? Am I answering her question? Or, no, no, uh, you have a question for her. Oh, what's your what's your purpose in life? Do you know what you're here to do? Mm. Not just be an RM, you, but mm. what are you here to do? Um, your time, physical time. I definitely believe I'm here to help uh-huh. people in some way. That's why I became a nurse. But I also have an upcoming business. Um, I invent children's toys. Success. So, dolls. Um, growing up, I never really seen many dolls that look like me. So, I've started a business in which I'm creating dolls that look like me. 
So yeah. Dollars. Yeah. She means those. She means like okay. those figurines. <laughs> is that what she means? All right. It is time. Ah, Black to Barbies. Pop. That's what she means, right? These two guys left. Who's balloon? A, a dolls. Let's say dollars. Mm. Dollars. Okay. Dolls. Dolls. <laughs> All right, oh, what wow. did we end up popping his? Um, he won me over with that, how he was raised in a household with two parents, and yeah. he just grew up seeing, like, love, and that's really important to me, too. Absolutely. Yeah, so. Oh, wow. That's why. But you're very handsome. Thank you. And I'm sure any woman will be lucky to have you, but, yep, that's the reason. Okay, so why did you have your balloon unpopped for her? Uh, she hit the necessities, and she qualifies for the preferences. You're gorgeous, which is Thanks. a necessity for me. You love God, which is number two on that list. You're open and honest and transparent and that's phenomenal and you have family values so that's fantastic so mm, I, mm, look, mm. I was ready thank you okay thank you <laughs> that's a w <laughs> all right let me bring you on up bring you on up come on up was <laughs> <laughs> ready yeah. all right guys any <laughs> final questions all right, the guys are just no unbothered let me see I ain't got no questions over here. Okay. Go over here. Go over here. All right, so is it a yes for you for her? It's a yes. Well, and she's going to say yes for, yes for us, bro. We got a man. Okay. W you match. Like, you guys can go on up. You ain't got aura, though, man. I don't know. Let's sign up by him, man. Woo, make some noise for y'all. The guys ain't even happy for him. That's some forced clap. All right, That's crazy. let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, welcome Hi. in. What's your name? I'm Simone. Simone, how old are you? I'm 24. And what do you she's do? She's gonna violate. I'm a full-time content creator, lifestyle and beauty content. Shot locking. She's gonna violate. Shot locking. She's gonna violate. Oh my word. Ten. And then I'm currently in my master's program at Pepperdine uh, for <sighs> clinical psychology. No, she's Very gonna cool. violate. <laughs> what are some things like to do for fun? Um, so I am a poetess. I'm a writer, a podcast host. Um, I just love everything creative, arts, everything like that. Cool, cool. Yeah. Uh, what are some things like for a man? Um, I like a man with a higher education level, wisdom, um, communication, understands uh, emotional regulation. Wait, did she say she's 24? Um, those are, that's, that's it right there. That's vital. Okay, yeah. got it. 24? There you go. Thank you. Nah. <laughs> and now what are some of the deal breakers? ID check. Um. 24. I would say lack of like, what? just not like being able to like fully like feel and communicate. What does that I think that's say? A disruption. My black uh, is. A man that doesn't. That uh, gets like weary about being out with me and understanding that I get attention and that I get looks and I don't want no man like being angry at me about that because mm. uh, like he's gonna be my man like I'm a, we look good together. Type man, of shit, then you believe know? in your source. Um, believe in your source. And then like believe in your source. Somebody who's just like stupid. Sorry, I just can't do that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. No, I just can't. I'm sorry. That's your preference. No, your that's preference. It. But that's why I was okay. We'll do that. Yeah. All right. So we don't have any pop balloons. So oh, okay. What's going to happen is I'm actually switching on over to you. Oh. I'm going to okay. give you a pick and I'm going to have you pop two balloons based off of what. Hey, I had a good idea, chat. You know what I think would be good? If we continue watching these, right? I don't know. Does this person upload this? Uh, Aria, I, I, I'll let. Does, does she upload like at the same time every week? What I think we could do is. I could get an email, right? Which is a balloon popping. <laughs> and then we, you guys can play. So, <laughs> so like if someone walks in, if you don't want to pop the balloon, you just put the email. But it's going to be crazy because if someone walks in, then the whole chat fills up with balloon pop animations. But that's going to be fucked. Hey, that's funny, man. So far, whoever may not really <laughs> be funny. your type, whatever it is. So <laughs> okay. let me give you that and go ahead and pop those two. I'm going to get okay. an email artist to make one ASAP. I got you guys. I got you guys. Okay, one Bro, more. Nah, he's nah, he's getting it bad. He's getting it bad. He's the weakest link here. He's the weak. This see this. What's it? Uh, what, what do we call them? Shortcake, shortbread, shortbread biscuit. He's the weakest link. Okay, let's start right on over Wait, here. Wait, hold on. Okay, one Wait. more. Nah, she must know him. She must know him. They follow each other. They follow each other. Okay, let's start right each on other. over here. What? We can have your name and age. <clears throat> My name is Ryan. I'm 26. Okay. And Ryan, why did you have your balloon unpopped? They know each other. I just wanted to hear her talk more and hear her out. Okay. Yeah, it was like too soon to decide. Got it. Okay, but she's someone that's physically your type? Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. she knows you, bro. I got it. She knows and you, And now, bro. why did we end up popping his? Well, you know, unfortunately, I wish that I could hear you speak because I feel like you have a great vocabulary and great grammar and mm. can carry yourself well. <laughs> um, but from the looks of it, in reality, I just don't do light skins. Oh, okay. okay. Tough. 
<laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, he can't change that. It's like, I'm not that's mad at him. I'm like, you can't do nothing about that. Hey, like, what okay. the? But that's, yeah, that's it. Cool, thank you. And then he did pop one more you down here. You really have a, like, your light naming. skin, My name is John. dark I'm skin 31. preference and all that. And John, why did oh. you have your balloon unpopped? Oh, I mean, she nice, you feel me? Uh, Sheree, my type, you feel me? Uh, I like light skin women, so mm -hmm. I'm just trying to see how she what. Got it, got it. And why did we end up popping his? You didn't make eye contact with me once while I was speaking. No aura. That's, I respect and I and I like I no love aura. a shy timid man who's gonna let me speak for him because I'm a I, I'll speak for you if you want nah, me to. Nah, this ain't Chief Keith, bro. Make eye contact is crazy. This is T. This is <laughs> T. Crazy. Grizzly. This oh, is yeah, T. Grizzly, it. bro. Okay, I'll shake it. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right, let's head back and let's respect go ahead Chief and ask Keith, these bro. guys a question. Okay. Um, what do you do for work? Okay, name, age, what do you do for work? Yes, ma'am. Uh, my name is Dante, I'm 25. I uh, also am a famous YouTuber and adult entertainer and also do bodybuilding. Yeah. Adult entertainer, you said? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. Let's go on over here. <laughs> Your name and age, and what do you do? My name is Chris. What's I'm up, 27, Chris? And I got a couple jobs. I'm a realtor first, then I work at a community center, and then I work at two nonprofits. Okay, what's the nonprofits about? It's about helping black people. And then I got another one where I help black girls with my mom. Okay. Yeah. Understandable. Mm. We appreciate your service. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Your name and age and what do you do for work? Uh, I'm Trey, 25. I'm a development project manager at a tech company. Okay, Trey. <laughs> <laughs> name, age, and what do you do? How you doing? I'm Nazi. I'm 25. And I'm a project engineer for a general contractor. It's my full-time gig. Um, but I also do a little freelance estimating on the side. And what's your freelance? Mm -mm. Uh, estimating. So oh, like estimating. Specialty okay. contractors. And oh, so you go with wow. numbers and shit? You know your math? Okay, okay, that's good. <laughs> uh -uh. I don't know shit by math. <laughs> Name, agent, what do you do? Oh my gosh, someone <laughs> pop. Key, 28, uh, and I own a trucking business. Okay. So, yeah, that's it. All right. He said that's it. <laughs> that's good, though. You're a business owner. What are you talking we about? Got Trey's shoes? Nah, we need an up and down pan. Pop right here. Why do we end up popping? Out of vernacular. I don't entertain them. Oh, in these spaces, oh, yeah, so. that's not going to be. Yeah, we ain't going to work with that. Yeah, honestly. That's okay. <laughs> what? He popped because she swore. Oh, get out of here. Oh, get out of here. Oh my goodness. Get out of here. It works out. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. Yeah, Stuff works it's out. Okay. It's okay. So is he someone that's your type? No. Ooh, okay, what? why not? Um, okay. okay. She's gonna no, buy it. She's gonna like, buy no, it. No, I love the outfit. I love the outfit. It's cute. Um yeah. Honestly, for me, it's just like the physical appearance. That was it. Yeah. Oh, good. Sorry. Okay. Bro, do I Thank look like Nick K. Furry about be family friendly? Okay. Hell no. So, based off of those responses you've heard, nah, you fast need to get pop, so I'm going to have you just pop just one. Oh, who's she going to pop? Oh, she's going to pop my man. Oh. All right. So, why do we end up popping oh. his? Um. <sighs> You know, I love the work ethic. I love you. You sound smart. You're just um, physically again. It's just oh. not the vibe. Okay. Is there something specific? Just the height. The height. That's it. Okay. All right. <laughs> Thank you. So you did have your balloon <laughs> unpopped for her. Why so? But that is not yeah, Canal Joseph. Pretty. I like the tattoos too. I was noticing those. That's pretty cool. But yeah. Yeah, it's pretty much it. Okay. Not even realizing the tattoos. Can I take that back? Can you put more air in his balloon? What? <laughs> This girl. Let's head on back. Thank you. She's tapped. Okay, no, she's so tapped. have three balloons she's left on top. Go ahead and ask these guys another question. <laughs> What's your, um, what is your perspective in regards to gender roles and the expectations of a woman in your relationship? As in traditional household, what, like, how do you want your woman to be when it comes to... All right, that's a perfect question. All right, yeehaw. All right, so yeehaw. naturally, I'm from Michigan. Originally, my parents both grew up together and stuff like that. You feel me? Married, raised me and stuff like that. My morals are traditional by myself. I want to have a family. I want to move back to the country and stuff like that. I have acreage, a lake, et cetera, et cetera. That's what I'm building towards right now. But for my woman, she has to be willing to let me lead and let and follow with suit type shit. You feel me? I want her to be able to have her own hustle. You feel me? Do whatever she wants to do and stuff like that. I want her to have her own dreams, aspirations too. But obviously, I'm going to be the man in the household and stuff like that. You feel me? So I got to be able to make the priority. You feel me and shit? But I want you to still be able to ride by my side. Are you prepared to do that? Oh, yeah. Okay. I, I've tried to do it before a few times, and a lot of women are not uh, uh, emotionally capable and also communicative. Was this before no. or after the adult entertainment? No, this is during as well, okay. and before. Yeah. Okay. So. All right. Good answer. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Okay. 
Add to your question. Can you repeat it? <laughs> Yeah, I'll repeat it. Uh, it's what is like your perspective and how do you perceive like Bro, your relationship and your gender roles when it comes to your woman? I feel like in a perfect world, you know, I want the traditional sense, you know, I'll be able to take care of you. But, you know, shit happens. And so if I'm if I'm <laughs> down, I need a helping hand. I need you to be there to be able to help me. Yeah, okay. She's going to pop his balloon. That's what I'm saying, right. And our last guy over here, the answer to her question. Uh, yeah, to answer her question, I'm more so traditional, uh, but... I am like, I do agree with teamwork, you know what I'm saying? So like if you if you cooking, I'm washing dishes, you know what I'm saying? If you're washing clothes, I'm folding and drying and whatnot. So, you know, it's just, mm. just you know, helping That's each other out. That's a good out. answer. That's it. All right. Good answer. Good answer. Okay. Good answer. All right. Really you know what answer. time it is? It is time to I pop do. a balloon. <laughs> okay. She's enjoying this. She's actually enjoying this. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, you're done, man. Okay. Let's stay right over here. Done, bro. Why'd you end up popping his? Um... Honestly, Bro, it was just a. Why do they keep? Why do they keep going to this guy? End up popping his. Um, why? Honestly, why did they keep going to him? <laughs> he's thinking about. I want to know what he's thinking about, though, man. I want to know what he's thinking about. His balloon got popped. Uh, yeah, there was one match at the very beginning. One match. Balance is key now. Facts, clips. Facts. See, it's all about balance. It was just. A, all about the balance. Me having to repeat the question. Um, second off, it, then it was the answer. So I just, I felt like you could have definitely. He's the main character. If you had a, good, a better answer, then I could have like, you know, sidetracked the, that first No, not Nucci. Second one, second one. My bad, second one, second oh, shit, one. shit, that's cool. Okay, all right. So why did you have your balloon unpopped for her? Is she cute? Girl. Okay. Okay. You know, she, you know she, she's smart though. She will put together. Mm -hmm. You know, she had a lot going on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we do have two guys left. Guys, any questions for our girl here? Yes, one down there. We'll be back. <laughs> come on over. Come on. Over. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's our question? Uh, yeah, do you do you have any kids? I do. I have one, and he's two years old. Okay. Oh, oh. So kids are a deal breaker. Yeah, it's just the kids, uh, she, especially she's... that young of an age. Uh... Wait, she's 24. She has one kid. At, that's two years, so that means she had a child when she was 22, minus nine months, so give or take 21. Okay. Yeah, it's just not yeah, something I'm, you know. Yeah. That's it, but beautiful girl, though. I Thank definitely, you. I, you know, I would approach her. Uh, Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Now, is he they someone all, that's your type? Wait, type? did they all um, Actually, yeah. yeah. No, yeah, number one, I think number one still yeah. has. has <laughs> it. No, but it's okay. Eyes <laughs> out. No, number, yeah. number one, pop two. <laughs> and then our adult guy entertainer over here ended up popping as well. Why did up popping? Only because of that, babe. The you kid. feel me? With mm -hmm. traditional men, I want my woman to come pure. I don't care about the whole societal wow. thing with the bodies and shit like that. You feel me? That I really don't give a fuck about type shit. You feel me? But it's like having to start with another person's child and shit Damn. and the things that come with it and stuff like that. You feel no me? Match. I want to start my own family from scratch. I, and I had raised in a full household. My brother and sister, everybody, my parents stayed together. And you know what I'm saying? It's just, I have that. Damn. I, have that now. I just can't. And it's, I wish, but you can't change shit sometimes. And I get that, um, especially with you growing up in a two-parent household. I completely understand that because that is a very valid foundation and principle on how you look on relationships. I grew up in a single mom household, so I completely understand where you're coming from. And I accept that. So that's good that you know that by yourself. I love that you have your boundaries. I appreciate you. Yeah. You go stunning. Like, Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. All right, cool. Well, wow. unfortunately, that is all the balloons. Bam. So we do thank you for coming on. Let's give it up for her, guys. <laughs> I was not expecting that. I'll be real. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> not expecting that at all. Walk in empty, go out right, empty. Let's go type ahead and bring shit. out our next single <laughs> lady. Hold them ones there. Tight shit. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? My name is Daniela. Daniela, how old are you? I'm 23. My and name what is do you do? Um, I'm a medical assistant in dermatology. Okay, very cool. Um, what are some things you like to do for fun? Um, for fun, I like to play with my dog. Um, sometimes I go to the gym. I like Wait, to play tennis. Wait, you guys are popping? Um, yeah. Okay. Chat, you guys uh, popping? What are some things you look for in a man? Um, I like a man who loves animals. <laughs> um... Uh, yeah, I Very feel she'll find a match. Always nice to the waiter, waitress. Mm. Um, oh! Um, he's not nice to them. He's not. Bro, what the hell? Bro, you're on a. Bro, you're on a pop streak and you go and pop, bro. Bro, you're clutching on to. <laughs> Gee. 
You need this more than anyone else here, bro. What's wrong with T Grizzly? Mm. Nah, he's wilding. Nah, he's wilding. He's wilding. Um, nah, he's, he's nice nah. To, he's not nice. To the Short bread is wilding. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, just overall, like really gentle with people. Nah, okay. man. Yeah. Now, what are some deal breakers? Um, deal breakers. I'm probably I feel people bad. Are nice probably to wait, kids just? having Please? kids. Um, yeah, that's the only one I can think of for okay. now. Okay. Yeah. All right. So yeah. we did get some Papa loans. Let's go ahead and okay. head on over there. See why they ended up popping. Okay. All right, your name and age. My name is John. I'm 31. Okay. John, why do we end up popping our balloon? I pop my balloon because I really don't like animals like that. Uh, oh, okay. That's people, okay. I be seeing people kiss their dogs popping? in the mouth and stuff like that. Like, I, I'm not that type of guy. So. Yeah. And then you mentioned kids, you feel me? And I do got two shorties, so okay. it was a pop regardless. So, But you're yeah. fine. Though, you're so. scared of dogs. That's okay. <laughs> Okay, Thank it. you. Now is John someone that's your type? Um, I don't really have a type to be honest. Okay. I would. I'm open to a lot of like a lot of guys. So, okay. cool. yeah, yeah. Nice to know. <laughs> Thank you, John. All right, let's head on back. John, hey, that was your chance, so buddy. So we do still have quite a few balloons left unpopped. So I'm actually gonna switch it on over to you, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna hand you a pick. GGs. Thank there you. you. Go. And I am going to have you pop two of these balloons so okay. i know you say you don't really have a type but you know you kind of know what you don't like yeah when you yeah see it. so of course go uh -oh. ahead and pop those two and then i'll see why you ended up popping after um... uh oh okay uh, i'll do two <laughs> okay oh and then GGs. one more um ggs okay GGs. let's start right here you're a name and age i'm trey and i'm 25. Trey, why did you have your balloon? Trey's unpopped? not having a good day, man. I just wanted to hear her out. You know, she's not she's not attractive. She's cute, and so I just wanted to hear her out. Hear kind of more about who she is. Okay, got it, got it. So is, we end up popping his. Why did we pop his? Um, probably not what I usually go for. I like your eyebrows though, and I do like oh, the pearls. You. I love pearls. Thank you. Um, yeah. So why'd you pop it? Yeah, got it. Praise <laughs> God. Then we did pop one more. Let's mm -hmm. head on back. Your name and age? Uh, Dante, I'm 25. Okay. And Dante, why did you have your balloon unpopped? Wanted to hear her out. I got to see what I would I think about it, but I had to hear her out. I didn't want to be that person. Okay. So is she someone that is your type? There's only two There's only two things, type shit. Your voice is kind of naggy. I ain't going to lie. It kinda, oh. I didn't like it a little bit, type shit. That's all. And then also the like the body type kind of shit. You feel me? But I was trying to like look past a few things. That's all. Ah! Okay. Yeah. So why did we end up popping his? Come on, um, oh my gosh! Oh. Look, I think the cowboy look is not for me, but it looks good on you. I appreciate you. Bro. So, thank you, baby. Now he yeah, violated. I think that's all. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Type right, shit. So, uh, I'm now gonna have you ask the remaining guys a question. <laughs> mm. I appreciate okay. the sub, man. Um. Oh, I have. A good I appreciate one. Okay. you. Thank you, bro. Um, thank you. Thank you, James. What? Jenkins. Is your inner child into like what what type of things bring out your inner child okay start over here with your name and age <laughs> and what type of things bring out your inner child my name is ryan i'm 26 and the things that bring out my inner child i think it's the same like i've almost always been into the same things since i was a kid as, I, as now so animals number one like if i see it, an animal or a dog or something, I'm running over to it. Mm -hmm. uh, hmm. Other things, my inner child, I like sci-fi stuff. I like Bigfoot, aliens, whatnot. If I mm. see that, I get excited. So maybe that might answer it. I don't know That's cool. if that yeah, makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go to our next guy. Your name and age and answer okay. your question. Chris, 27. And I'll say something that brings up my inner child is probably basketball and anime, a little anime. That's, that's, I that's. love animals too, but I don't think that brings up my inner child though. But that's. with basketball too, like I, I'm real competitive, and so like I'm I'm really smooth. Like I like to be chill, but when I get on the basketball court, it's a whole different person. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's go down over here. Your name and age, and what brings out your inner child? How you doing? My name is Nati. Hi. I'm 25 years old. Uh, things that bring out my inner child, probably things like board games. You know, competing like that. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of little. Nah, she does have a high pitched voice. I can't lie. Like, as soon as she came in, that's the first thing I imitated and clocked onto. Uh, Deontay was yodeling. Wait, I can't remember which one is Deontay. Bro, you missed it already. 
Damn. Cousins and nephews and nieces. Yeah. So being around them, they bring out my inner child, you know, playing with them. I like it. Oh, I name like it. Angel, it. Your inner I like it. Yeah, my name is Key. I'm 28. Uh, that's a tough question, but I'd probably say like the holiday season, like Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. Christmas, uh, just, you know, everybody off work, people, you know, family coming to town, uh, spending time together, whatnot. Like, it's, you know. You know what it is, right? You have to remember after a long day of work, you want to call your girl and the first thing you hear, hey, how was your day? No, fuck off. No. Nah. I'm hanging that phone up. Nah, that's the last thing I want to hear, bro. Hell nah. Come on. Nah, man. That's what nah, yeah. bro. Good. That's a good one, too. Nice. That's gonna that's piss me off. Okay. Why are you trying to right. tickle my ears like that, man? I guess nah, I ask you too. bro. What brings out your inner child? <laughs> um, for me, probably um, finding like shells at the beach and stuff, or like. If I find like a little jellyfish or something, I don't know, oh. like little, I don't know. <laughs> kind of weird, but I was like finding stuff at the beach, like a little, even like little hermit crabs. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I am going to have you pop one of these guys' balloons based off of what you've heard, seen, whatever it may be. Okay. Um. Is she going to pop? <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I know it's tough. Yeah. <laughs> um. Is she gonna? Oh, is she gonna pop? <gasps> oh! Sorry. Okay. Why do we end up popping his? Oh, interesting. Um, I think the holidays are cool, but I just feel like there's very specific things that like bring out your like who you are, like since birth. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, that's no problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. So why did you have your balloon unpops for her? Uh, she's a pretty girl. Uh, very attractive. Uh, I love the hair. I like the curls. Thank you know. You, thank you. Someone yeah. in TikTok said, I feel no, bad so for, her, type apart from that response. for her um, body yeah. shape slash yeah. posture. Why? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's head back. And we do have three guys left. Go ahead and ask them another question. I have, okay, yeah, I have three. Um, yeah. There we go. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Um, hmm. What is, uh, sorry. Now, Loki, she might be the most boring, though. I'll be real. What are you doing in your free time? What are you doing in your free time? Mm -hmm. Okay. What are you doing in your free time? I like to walk, so I walk places frequently. I like shopping. I like, yeah, thrifting. I like antiquing. Um, that's mask. pretty much it. That's my main free time activities. Mm -hmm. okay. What about over here? What are you doing in your free time? I ain't going to hold you. I'm pretty simple. Mm -hmm. I, I like to play basketball. Like I said, I watch a lot of anime. She likes them. And I smoke a lot of weed. Ah! Straight okay. to it, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie to you. Okay. She, she's gonna pop. I appreciate it. No, yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah, she's gonna pop. Let's go over here. She might pop. Okay, Who knows? Your free time? Well, I'm pretty busy, so I only get so much free time. But whenever I do, I like to try new things. Um, so try new food, go new places. Mm, yeah. Um, I'm pretty new to Arizona, so you know, just mm. discovering the area, getting to know the place. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, uh -oh. you know what time it is. Time to uh -oh. pop. Uh oh. Okay. How many? Uh, just one. Just one. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh oh. Unless you said you got more to pop. You got more to pop? <laughs> um. No, I don't think so. Okay. No, not okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hmm. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Uh oh. Yeah, I might. Sorry. Yeah. 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 Okay. GGs, bro. All right. GGs. Where do we end up popping his? Um, GGs. I think it's two things. One, not super like physically attracted, but also I think like, I don't know. I don't even really have a problem with weed and stuff, but I just don't want to smell like it. And I don't want you to smell like it either. I always smell good. Um, <laughs> no, I believe it. I believe it. But yeah, some of it you just can't help. Some of it you can't control. So, mm. okay. yeah. I mean, I've been, I've been doing this for years since I was 12. I know how to control myself. Oh, Twelve. But not not to, I know how to not smell like Twelve. <laughs> okay. Okay. Twelve. <laughs> so you did have your balloon on pause for her wife, so. And she's pretty. Twelve. She's cute. Not really necessarily what I'll go for, her, but I was trying to hear her out. What? Okay, cool. Twelve. Okay, our two remaining guys left. Any questions? Huh? Okay, let's head down over here. All right, what's your question? What are your love languages? Or do you have a top three? Mm. Favorites. Yeah, that's a good one. I think mine are probably um, love languages. Mm -hmm. Probably I like acts of service. Twelve. And Damn. quality time is probably number two, but I think acts of service is like way up there. 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. How about you? What are yours? Access service is definitely up there. Yeah. Um, quality time is also up there. I'm also a physical touch. Honestly, I'm going to be honest, I like all five. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, Smoking a joint whilst watching yeah, cartoon. Yeah, I like all those. Okay. Shit. Now, I think that guy was trying to self-sabotage. Um, I think uh, the... T- 12 year old smoke was trying to self sabotage. One of your role models? Beyonce. That's a good one. Um, my mom? Probably my dad. Oh, he's okay. very, Close. um, he's like the cook of the house. He's the, he's like Close. everything. Um, my parents have been together forever, but my dad is like, he's a real like acts of service kind of person. Um, yeah, I think I take after him too. And he's just, he's very empathetic, even if he doesn't show it all the time. Um, yeah, so definitely my dad. Respect, dub. okay. Yeah. Dub, Who's dub, yours? Dub, 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 dub. Um, I have a few, but I would say Denzel Washington. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Random as hell. Uh, w actor Denzel's to be fair. just cool as hell. Like, okay. cool, talented. Him and also like Donald Glover or Childish Gambino. Because he's a multifaceted artist mm-hmm. that I respect as well. So there's two. Cool. Fez. All right. Cool. Fez. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we're down to she two likes guys. She I'm going to have you pop one of theirs to see if the other is your match. She likes mm-hmm. Denzel Washington guy, Rhino. She likes Rhino. But I don't know Can if Rhino will match with, him, with her. Just a little question. Maybe okay, he will. Again, I don't know. Okay. okay. <laughs> um, what is your red flag or your toxic trait so what's the toxic trait they have yes yeah okay. yeah that i'm opinionated so i have just strong opinions on things yeah that's it mm-hmm. okay. yeah 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 what's your toxic trait yeah yeah, yeah. i'm a pretty great guy <laughs> <laughs> i would say wait uh, wait, when I break up with someone, I like to wait, break up why on bad pull? terms. I don't, I don't like to miss the person at all. So mm. that's probably my toxic trait. But other than that, I'm, I'm a pretty good guy. So wait, <laughs> why okay. did he okay. pop? Okay, let's see why our guy back here ended up popping. Okay. Yeah, let's. Oh, so like, yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. was thinking about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just thought they looked like a cute couple together. First, <laughs> um. I think she, I mean, beautiful, and I think you <laughs> exemplify femininity, which is a really you, great trait you. that is hey, w missing clips, by the way. in these day, like this generation. So I don't really have anything negative. I just wasn't feeling like a romantic spark. Mm. Uh, that was it. Okay. But you're really, you have so many great qualities that I liked a lot. Thank That's you, why I, I stayed to the end because I was like feeling it. But yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Now, I respect that. Now, is he someone that's your type? You ain't uh, trying to be yeah. in a one v one. I respect that. <laughs> Thank cool. You. Well, I respect bring that. Bring out our last guy up here. Let me have you stand on this side of me, and I'll okay. have you stand here. Hey, W right, Clipper, W any Clipper. Final questions between the two of you. Now we can get into that later. I think I'm good. Um, I don't know if she wants him. She doesn't want him. She wants um, the other guy. She wants the other guy. I can't think of a question. Okay. Yeah, I can't think of a question, but I might have to pop it though. Ah! Okay. I, why did you want to pop? I know he beat you to it, but I know it's okay too. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I think he's not super physically my type. Okay. Um. Oh no. Yeah, I do think you're handsome. No, I, I like if, your hair. Ethiopian you're brother, brother man. Good. Thank you. Okay. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Let me have oh. you back over there. <laughs> no, nah, she let him on there. She let him on. We do. Thank you so much. Why didn't she pop it earlier? Give it up for her guys. Nah, El girl, man. Thank you. El girl, man. That's Agent's cousin, man. Can't believe right, she done let's that. Let's go ahead and bring out our next okay, single okay. lady. She could have done that way, 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 way sooner. Hello, welcome in. Hi. What's your name? Raja. Raja, how yes. old are you? I'm 24 years old. And what do you do? Okay, I'm go. a law student. Raja, hey, law nice. student. Uh, nice. Okay. What are some things I like do for fun? I love to travel. I like to journal. I like to walk my dog. Oh no, and them hills are horror. Really adventurous. Oh hell no. Nah. Um, and have fun with my oh, partner. Oh hell no. Nah. Okay, nice. Those um, hills. Partners, what are some things you look for in a man? Oh my god. Oh, they have to be honest, oh my god. confident, oh my god. Um, oh my god. really secure in themselves. Um, 
oh my gosh. able to compromise okay. and we have shared oh values and beliefs. Got it, got it. Yes. And now what are some of your deal breakers? If you don't like dogs, like <laughs> my dog is my everything. So if you don't like dogs, let me know that now. Okay. <laughs> uh, what else? No, nah, they ain't hanging Someone off. They ain't hanging off. Narcissist, mm. um, and somebody who's not a decision maker. They have other people make their decisions, such as their family, friends, somebody on the street. Like, I just need you to be <laughs> Dred, a man. Dreads Got might it. be gone, yeah. man. Cool, cool. <laughs> Dred, All right. So they're going to cook the Dread guy talks. again. So I'm actually going to switch it on over to you, and I'm going to hand you a pick. So <laughs> there you go. And I am going to have you pop. Hmm. Oh, Let's go with no, two balloons. No, don't do Based it. Based off of oh, what you're seeing, no, you know, who may not really be your type, whatever it is, no, go ahead and man. pop those two balloons. Okay. No, man, short bread. No, no, no. Okay, one more. All right, let's start right on over here. Okay. Name and age? John, I'm 31. Okay, and now, John, you did have oh your balloon unpopped. Why so? She's beautiful. I'm not shallow, so I want to hear what she was talking about. You feel me? But I mean, she's a nice little young young woman, so I approach her. Okay. W okay. Grizzly World. <laughs> and now why you end up popping his balloon? Grizzly World 4.0. Uh, his name's John. Yeah. Well, John, you look really nice. Um, just there wasn't like an initial attraction, I would say. GG's, man. But you seem sweet, so. GG's, man. Yeah. <laughs> GG's, right, man. And then we did pop one more. Let's head on over here. Cooks. Your name and age. How you doing? My name is Nazi. I'm 25 years old. Okay. And Nazi, Nat why did you ever be Nat unpopped? Nazi? Nazi? You're very pretty. I like Nat the dress. How do you spell you know, it? Orange is a nice color on you. N-A-T-Z-I. I want to hear you. I get to know you better. Okay. Got it. Got it. Now, why do we end up popping his? Well, I would say the same thing. Like, you do look nice. Um Really friendly. Very, Just, very unique. There wasn't, name. like, initial attraction again. Okay. But... You seem fine. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. Right. Thank really you. respectable. <laughs> okay. Next round, I'm going to go ahead and have you ask these guys a question mm. just to help you narrow it down. Okay. So, guys, how should the roles and responsibilities be shared in a household? Okay. Let's mm. start with your name and age. And how should the roles be shared? Oh, my name is Dante. I'm 25. Mad risky names, uh, though. The roles in the household, uh, I grew up in a traditional household. So, dad works and stuff like that, grinds out, makes sure the home is taken care of, the kids are taken care of and stuff like that. Mom does what she's great at, which is nurturing and stuff like that. You feel me? Taking mm -hmm. care of making sure when I come home, everybody's taking care of my kids and stuff like that, making sure she's good. I got to make sure, hey, if something's not right, yo, let me go take care of that and stuff like that and bring it back home. But I'm very traditional. Very. Extremely, actually. All right, he's done. Name and age and the answer to her question. Thank goodness. My name's Ryan. I'm 26. Flipping and out. I'll echo that. I'm very traditional as well. So... As the man, I would be taking the wow. stereotypical man role where being the breadwinner. And if there's something wrong with the lawnmower, that's on me. Um, it's not on you. Uh, I'm carrying in all the groceries, like stuff like that. Mm. And then again, assuming we had a family, I would want my wife to be the one leading the uh, nurturing of the children and the educating them and stuff like that. And hopefully she can cook as well. That would be a great bonus because I cannot cook for shit. <laughs> <laughs> all right your name and age and the answer to her question chris 27 and i'll say i grew up in a single mom household so i'm still learning as i go within my all the relationships i've been through so okay. yeah, i usually do take on a more traditional role like take care of you know if she's staying with me take care of the bills taking care of the the manly stuff like you said like all the, like the changing the tire taking out the trash all of that but as far as like monetarily I grew up seeing my mom do it all, you know, so I need another woman that can, she doesn't have to do it all, but she had to be able to do He's something. He's too laid know? back, this I do guy. Like a little Miss Independent. Need a bit more, you know what I'm saying? A bit more energy in him, right. like, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh! I'm Trey, 25. Who popped? Uh, I've seen both done. Who popped? Uh, effectively in terms of both partners working and one partner, uh, I had a stay-at-home mom later in my life. So I really believe in what does the home need? Like uh -huh. that's between the two people to understand like you for example you're in law school that's mm -hmm. a very high paying job it'd be it'd be crazy of me to ask you to to sacrifice that entirely and not chase after this dream because law school is a lot that's high school college and some old school some old school <laughs> and so i believe in understanding oh, that like, choker hey, is crazy tonight though. might not be the pearl uh, the pearl choker night to watch this just tonight might not be a uh, a unite to, to to set up everything for the kids because mm -hmm. I'll, I'll be honest i can change a tire I have triple A and it works though. <laughs> and so I would much rather not. Now, if it's hot, me and Phoenix, like, I, 
if need be. <laughs> but my AAA works. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I believe in I believe in modernity, and I believe in like progressing those roles. They don't have to be static like they were in the past. Okay. Okay, that's good. And then we did get a pop. Let's mm-hmm. head down over here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Yeah, I'm Key, 28. Uh, I pop just because, uh, you know, she's a law student. Uh, that's a lot of time. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm a business owner. Uh-huh. And so you've been a law student. Like, my time is limited. Your time is going to be limited. That's a lot of school and everything, trying to build a family and whatnot. Uh, and then also, I mean, you're a pretty woman. Mm-hmm. Just not really, uh, just not too attractive. But, mm-hmm. I mean, you don't look bad at all. Plus? Oh! No, is he someone Wait. that's your type? Um, you look decent, but I mean, like you're decent, like. Okay. Wait, why? It looks like you tried. Um. <laughs> hey, that's what's up. All right. <laughs> yeah, you're decent. All right. Okay. Cool. 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 It's all good. Thank you. All right. Fine. <laughs> B and G. Okay, and we did get a pop back here. Why did we end up popping? So, if we look in long term, you know, building mm-hmm. a family, I'm a little taller. You know, nothing gets the short queens. I love the short queens. <laughs> But see, you just look like you're like five foot, maybe. Mm-hmm. So like it's a little, you know. So I like I'm like a little taller, I'm a five six, five eight. Got it, got it. <laughs> now is he someone that's your type? Um, you look fine, but like for a partner, I'm looking for someone more like I don't know, more dapper. More dapper. dapper. Mm-hmm. Oh, she okay. wants the church boy. Yo, what's up, Mo? She wants to. Yeah, yeah. It's cool though. Okay, got it. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so we do have two left, guys. Oh, I'm sorry, three. You keep hiding that balloon. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> All right, so we have three mm-hmm. left. Uh, go ahead and ask these guys another question. Okay. What are some qualities that you look for in a partner? Okay. Some qualities to look for. Uh, number one's major is respect. Um, I don't care really about the R E S P C T. Respect comes with honesty, communication, everything else, and stuff like that. If you're going to respect me, you're going to do what's right at the end of the day. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So at first, and then just like rappers say, I don't want luck, loyalty, da da. I want respect. You feel me? Mm-hmm. I grew up on that. Respect my father. Respect my coaches. Respect the pastors and shit. Respect the homeless people when I go to give stuff out for community service and shit like that. You mm-hmm. feel me? It's just a different thing. Growing up, like I used to be looked big and shit like that people hey chat i think i prefer when there's girls lined up and guys finding love low key low key i think i prefer it that way still i think it's more i don't know man i prefer it man i don't know what do you guys think bro the guys just be waffling man guys be waffling bro flipping hell man too much waffle hey uh mo what's up though mo what's good didn't respect me, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Like, they overlooked me and shit. Like, so it's something deeper, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. Um, stole my answer. Respect first, but I'll, I'll add to that. I also think mm-hmm. someone who's peaceful. Mm-hmm. I'm looking just for someone who can be my peace because I go through stressful situations and I've got my own stuff going on. So having a woman do what she does best, which is be like that peaceful, feminine energy. Mm-hmm. That's what I care most about. Okay. All right. Let's head on over here. Name and age. No, just answer the question. Sure, got your name. And make it make a show. <laughs> uh, I believe versatility, mm-hmm. ambition, and empathy are, are really important for a partner because I don't, I was talking about modernity earlier. I don't believe she in gonna match with him. one thing. I don't believe in like a, a, a single high chance. Line. High chance. I don't chance. believe in somebody not wanting to venture out and be broad and trying and you said you were adventurous so that's already yeah. that's already a check but mm-hmm. along with that i need somebody that loves god and not just like oh god is cool woody woody woo but what's your sign no i need somebody that that loves god for real for real and so if you don't have that you just go ahead yeah but all three mm, all four of those a woman that is a solution yeah, a doesn't bring hey, amen come on yeah. now. Mm. <laughs> <All right. laughs> okay it is time to pop a oh. balloon I can ask another question. No, oh. let's go ahead and pop. <laughs> <laughs> you said this shit like a beauty pageant, world peace and that. I don't even know what that word Okay, word what do you end up popping his? Well, you have muscles. Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, appreciate it looks you. like you work out. I appreciate um, you. Do you typically like wear this attire or? Uh, genuinely, <laughs> so I'm from Michigan, I'm a country boy. You know awesome. what I'm saying? So. Roy, so I want to go back to the country and shit, but I dab her down like everybody else and shit, but I don't care about society's norms. I look good. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to wear what I'm going to wear. Yes. You feel me? 
Oh my god, that was really, I just had a pop someone the other day. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I and like now, your answer, though. <laughs> is she someone that's your type? Uh, yes, for sure, 100%. You feel me? Like, I, on offense a little bit, I wanted to hear her out, what she's really going to say and stuff like that, and, you know, see how good she's going to articulate uh, her answers and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, no, fact. If he didn't wear this outfit, like no, nah, fact. He would have cleaned up. Did well. Did very well. He would have cleaned up. Thank you. Yeah. All right. So, our two remaining guys. I don't know what that word means. Tell me, Miss V. Yes. Um, what is oh, her? Oh, she's asking. Okay. Oh, go ahead. Oh, it's okay. You can ask. <laughs> <laughs> you were ready. Oh. Go for it. Go for it. <laughs> well, I was going to ask for you guys' occupations. Okay. Oh. Occupations. Mm -hmm. Um, I own two different media companies, so making YouTube videos and stuff like that is really the main gig. Mm -hmm. That's it. That'll be Rhino. And while we're here, any questions for her? I was going to ask. What do you think your life's purpose is? My life's purpose. Well, I would say because I'm in law school, I went to law school because I want to help disadvantaged communities and just mm. get them out of the situations that they're in. For instance, instance, I do want to go into criminal law and be a prosecutor Since or a KD defender, and <laughs> um, especially within my community in the Cleveland neighborhood. So I just really want to give back. Are you, is that where you live, Cleveland? Or Yes, I'm from Cleveland. Okay. Yes, we're... I have that Indian's uh, hat. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm still going to pipe. Um, I, I got to pop it, sorry. Because um, it's too far for me. Okay. Yeah. Oh, my. Where are you from? I live in L.A. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Let's head on over here. And then what was, what, what do you do? And then if you have any questions. Violating. Got you. Uh, I'm a development project manager at a tech company. Uh, right now. Yeah, these two are for you, Tommy, man. question I have for you, I was going to ask something similar to purpose, mm -hmm. but what is something that your friends would say two years ago you struggled with, oh, but you brother, made significant man. growth in Oh, brother, today? man. Wow. We ain't trying to get philosophical here, I man. I would say... Brother, man. Oh, my, my, that me. That I struggled with, like, moving on from ah, situations damn. that didn't really serve me. So... I feel like I really developed from that today. Um, just being able to put the past behind me, look towards the future, know that there's better things happening, better things to come for me. And I feel like they would really respect that. Like she's able to boss up, move on, and be a better person. Okay. All right, let me have you, come on up, come on up. Let's walk back over here, y'all, come on. <laughs> All right, y'all, so. What the? Any Come on. <laughs> All right, y'all. So back over here, y'all. Come on. <laughs> what the? All right, y'all. So walk back over here, y'all. Come on. <laughs> what the? All right, y'all. So any final Now, her voice is slightly jarring, but I think the last one was... The last one was way more annoying. So, mm -hmm. just and keep it a bill. Mm -hmm. Am I fine to you? Bro, you're doing too like, much, like, bro. Fine. bro. you're doing too much, bro. You're doing too like much. Like I, like I'm going, I'm walking bro. into your church, and bro. Then yo, 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 deaconesses looking at. Oh. Okay. <laughs> bro, you're doing too much, gang. I think you are attractive for sure. Um, I like your outfit. I like the way that you carried yourself. Thank you. Um, I like that you listened to my answers. Of course. Um, you're a great listener. Um, Does she but want you him? Said, like fine, like I spot yeah. you out, and I'm like, ooh, I want him. Yeah. No. Uh, Not necessarily, but, you know, my types do change when I look at the person's personality and how they present themselves, but... But you say you still find him attractive. Yes, he's attractive. No, she humbled him. Yeah. Ah! Why you look at me like that? That's a <laughs> backhanded like compliment. <laughs> no, nah. nah, I'm, I'm a sucker for a middle part now. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'll tell you what. Okay. But all right, let's go. You good. All right. So then, with that being said, is it gonna be a yes for you for her? Yes, Lord. <laughs> yes, and is it a Lord. yes for you for him you said oh no I was is it a yes for you for him <laughs> damn okay what's what what no, nah, nah. After he said, yes, Lord, I'm a sucker for a middle parting. Nah, bro, pack it up, man. Just go home. 
No, nah, pack it. No, nah, pack it. No, 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 no. What happened? What? Nah, yeah, nah, nah. I nah. feel like maybe for me bro it was got like out of there. Yes. Bro th- got out of there before she said no. Nah, bro. Like we're in a relationship. You need that like immediate oh. like. Yeah, like I want him. Like let's go. But oh, that was nice. it. Yeah, yeah, I just. The environment. Like, maybe it could progress to that, but not. Just I agree. Initially. I mean, the environment. This environment is made for like stuff yeah, like that. Exactly. I just want you to be sure that this is something that like. You're not mm-hmm. gonna go home two weeks later and go back home and be like, he not really even that cute. Like yeah. I don't. That's not for Trey. Yeah. Oh no! Oh no! Oh well, no! Thank you. You can head back over. Oh no! There. Oh no! All right, well, that is all the pop oh, balloons. No. But we do thank you for coming on. I'll take this mic thank you. and let's go ahead and give it up for her, guys. Nah, she rejected him. She rejected him, man. <laughs> oh. All right, let's go ahead and oh, bring out down. our next single lady. All right, last one, chat. Let's see. We got this is the last one I'm watching, so Hello. I should do more events. What Welcome type of events? In. What's your name? Dorian. Dorian, how old are you? I'm twenty seven. Okay. And what do you do? Um, I work for a Fortune fifty um company as an insurance agent. I also rap. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay, pop, very cool. Pop, pop, yeah. pop, 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 pop. Uh, now uh I know you see rap. What else do you do for fun? Um, for fun I like to travel a lot. I like to stamp my passport. I'm very adventurous, skydiving, jet skiing, whatever the world brings us. Nice. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now, what is. Oh. Okay. Oh. Y'all don't like to travel? I guess not. <laughs> now, what are some things not you look for you. in a man? <laughs> what do I look for in a man? I really like an outgoing guy. I'm a very outgoing person, respectful, um, emotionally intelligent, and I also like a man that makes as much money as me or more. Mm, okay. Exactly. Nice. Get the bag. <laughs> mm-hmm. Now, what are some deal breakers? Deal breakers. <laughs> now, number two is trolling. He's trolling. He's trolling. Felonies, but the felonies as far as sexual, mm. violent, small penis. <laughs> Deal breaker. <laughs> All right, so Period. we did get. I'm just being honest. We did get a couple pop balloons. That's fine. Let's go ahead and they see why wish they ended didn't up pop it. Mm-hmm. All right, your name and age, and why you ended up popping your balloon. Oh, uh, my name's Dante. I'm 25. And why'd you pop Dante? Don't don't get on me internet, bro. Um, spots on your stain on your little dress. I was in the bag drunk, so whatever. Oh yeah. Oh, she has it's a fine. stain on her dress. dress. Damn. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Uh, it's the three hundred dollar dress. My bad. I got a little makeup on it. Just to show, like you paying attention to care and stuff like that. You feel mm-hmm. me? You trying to be presentable? Just that, yeah. Okay. You feel me? That's Respect all. that. She's pretty, pretty. Mm-hmm. Gracias. She's mm-hmm. No, is he someone that's your type? Um, no, I'm not going. Where are you from? From Michigan. He's from Michigan. and He has a cowboy hat on. Ah! No, I can see if he was from Texas or something. I feel like Southern boys wear cowboy hats. I'm not a big fan of the cowboy. Damn! Hat. Damn! Y'all are so mean. They got country boys in Michigan. <laughs> Anyways, next. <laughs> name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is Ryan. I'm 26. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Mm-hmm. And I think you just had an unwelcoming demeanor. And that was it. We know why. Why? I mean, you know, everybody popped their balloon, so I might as well be honest. I mean, I, I don't want to get into it, but I can understand why you would think I have an unwelcoming demeanor. But you're very handsome, Ryan. I love your dimples, but I'm actually very much a sweetheart. Next. What? Okay. <laughs> Name and age and why you ended up. What? Chris, 27. Mm-hmm. Just because I don't do those skydiving. No, no, I'm, <laughs> I'm scared of heights. Mm. And so I had, I had problems in my past with my last girl. She was tweaking with me because I didn't want to do the little, with the, uh, the Superman thing in Vegas. We didn't the the bungee jumping. Yeah, it was bad. Okay. Okay. And you said your name is? Chris. Chris, so you pop my balloon because you don't like skydiving. You said you like doing adventurous stuff. Skydiving, what'd you say? Jumping out of airplanes, uh, roller coasters, I don't do that. I mean, but she asked me what I like to do. She didn't ask you what you like to do. But I mean, I understand if you like skydiving. We could have went on a nice dinner date. You're very handsome. Now she's going to crush out. I love the pants. I got a couple pair myself. Mm. I like the outfit. You know, I don't think you, I think you're going to regret popping your balloon. But I understand if you don't want to go skydiving. Everybody need a woman to get them out their comfort zone. Now she's gonna no, crash out. She's gonna crash out. Skydiving, whatever it is. Is she someone that is your type? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> stop! Stop so cutting now, to this guy. No, they need to. St- bro, they need to stop cutting to. Bro, this guy. What's he thinking about? Chat. What is he thinking about? I need to know. What's he thinking about? Oh, my, bro, he's been staring into nothing for the longest. Is, is she someone that is your type? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay. He said, yeah, no, I mean, pain. I, I like the demeanor. I ain't gonna lie. 
Thank you. That ain't a problem with me at all. Mm -hmm. I like the demeanor. I wouldn't make you skydive. If you said no, I would take no for an answer. Okay. Yeah, but okay. you can follow my Instagram. I think I can get you to skydive. You think so? Yeah. All right. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel a little vibrant. Uh -uh. You want that balloon back? He don't got to take his balloon back. We not begging. Let's go to the next. Oh, no. We're not begging, but he looks like he's feeling you, girl. He looks like he's you, If you don't want to skydive, I understand, but oh. you got to get out your comfort zone. You got to explore different things. You got to enjoy your life. You young, so. Hey, you ain't lying. Yeah. Ah. We're going to move on then. Ah. <laughs> All right. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is John. I'm I thought I popped one. Mm -hmm. And I, I popped my balloon because you came out a little aggressive. You feel me? I like femininity. I'm not saying you're not feminine, but... Your demeanor, maybe it's the liquor, you feel me, but... No. Oh. And I think we're from the same city, and I'm mm -mm. not trying to date no women from that, so... Oh, you from Indianapolis? I'm from Indiana, Oh, so. my gosh, I love that. So, first of all, what side of Indianapolis are you from? from the east side. What part? Uh, uh oh Arlington. You from Arlington, like yeah. 46? 46 in Arlington. All right, shout out to the east side of Indianapolis. Shout out. If you're from Indianapolis, you know why I'm like I am the way I am. I'm from the east side. I mean, aggressive is crazy. Femininity is crazy. I feel like my hair is done, my nails is I'm done. I'm not saying <laughs> you're not feminine. I said, but you came out a little aggressive. Did I like, cuss? You was on a de defensive mode. No, I think you guys all look handsome. I just, I'm just very, like, this is my personality. Is she funny? I feel like I got to tone down for nobody. But I respect that you want somebody that maybe you can run over. Not like Damn. that. But you're very handsome. I love the slugs. I'm from Indianapolis. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet I'm you from too. the east side of Indianapolis. Actually, I'm from. Well, maybe like, we need to link on some friendship shit, though. Friendship? Yeah. I don't think I want to be your friend. You embarrassed me on public YouTube <laughs> with 1.5 million people. Damn. But I think that if you go home and then you mention my name, I think that you'll be presently surprised. Like, I can't talk, but anyways, you'll be <laughs> pleasantly surprised. I think you'll nah, actually hit him. me up after that. She crushed out. very handsome. I love a chocolate man. Love your Damn. girls. You look good. I like the Jordans. 10 out of 10. Appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Damn. Good girl, next guy. Your name and age and why you ended up popping. <laughs> uh, I'm Trey, 25, and I believe our, our temperaments would clash. Uh, the personalities that we have, uh, I'm not a big fan of, of drunkenness in public or okay. just the idea of it's just how it comes across. It's not I'm not mm -hmm. tagging you with that. I'm just saying that's how it came across at first. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's really it. I believe I believe you're actually beautiful. Thank you. you kind of favorite Glorilla. That to me. That's why Glorilla I is crazy. I think Glorilla is beautiful. I'm dark skin. I think more like Kelly Rowland, but I appreciate the compliment. That's that's fine as well. Gracias. But but that's really it. I just believe our temperament. No. That's okay. All. Nah. Okay. Is he someone that's your type? No, he's not my type. Okay. Why you not? Know, I I just don't think I would like to be out on a nice dinner date or skydiving with somebody that ha wears pearls. Oh. I'm not drunk at all. A little tipsy. You know, they gave us some drinks in the back, but I feel like I'm really put together. I feel like I'm carrying carrying myself classy. That's but cool. if that's how you feel, then that's how you feel. I don't like the. Oh my gosh. The shoes. Nah. The shoes, bro. Nah, bro. Nah. The church shoes. Uh-uh. Nah. Why do they pan down? Why do they pan down like that, though? I need to know. Why? Pants. I'm going to be honest. I think that since you're light-skinned, you should have worn something a little bit more. <laughs> less olive. But okay. But you're handsome, though. Thank you. Love your beard. I love the earrings. She I think the gold beard, looks... Hold on. She <laughs> called it a beard, y'all. Yeah, I think, I think, for a minute. I think, it's a beard I, now, you didn't. They should have put her first, man. Honestly, She's lit. Honestly, this is a track, so I feel like if you feel like our temperaments would clash, yeah. I feel like you should get a little bit more... Huh? Confidence. I don't know. I That's think what you, you be doing with some I, match. I think that you should maybe date somebody that is more out there and get you out your comfort zone. I appreciate the input. Yeah, Thank you. You're welcome, handsome. Oh, the yeah. cameraman's her husband. Mm -hmm. Your name oh, is Why did you end up popping your balloon? I'm so sad. Wavy. How you doing? My name is Nati. I'm 25 years old. Mm -hmm. uh, I popped my balloon. I just didn't like the going back and forth with people. It's just not for me. That's all. Okay. But you're very pretty. You know. Gracias for the compliment. Gracias. Thank you. She's Spanish? I'm not going to say it's going <laughs> back and forth. Going back and forth sounds more like an argument. I feel like you guys stated your opinions about me and how you felt. And I feel like I gave you my opinions about y'all. I don't think it's a go going She's back and forth. Low I key. think that we're all adults. And we should expect, um, respect each other's opinions. So, I mean, if that's how you feel, that, that's a red flag to me. Because imagine if we didn't agree on something and I said what I said and you said what you said. Now you feel like I'm going back and forth nah, like a kid. Spitting. No, it's just, we just disagree. But I respect that. Damn. I think you're very handsome. Your hair is curly. You look good. Thank you. I like the shirt. Where you get it she from? She cooks. It's all good. My mama. Your mom? 
Bless your mom. She's a great mom. It's nice. It's well tailored. No, it's real tailored. I like the gold. I like that. You you look good. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Agent way nah, under the she's not used to being really rejected. Uh, yeah, my name is Key, I'm 28. Mm -hmm. uh, really, uh, to be honest, man, the physical attraction just isn't there. But I was going to give you a chance. I was going to hear you out. You know, it's not, I mean, you don't look bad at all. Mm -hmm. But I mean, you, you know, you look pretty good. But then you said you rap. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not really cool with that. And then all the traveling and stuff. So like the rapping, the traveling, the mm -hmm. being out, it's just, I don't like a busy woman like that. That's Everyone popped their balloons. Everyone. Doing a little bit too much. Yeah, okay, man. that's understandable. Like, pretty much. It went back and forth almost every dude up here. So <laughs> I feel like we kind of a little argumentative a little bit. So like I can see us being out on a date and you going back and forth with a waiter because something ain't cooked right. Or, like, wow. So you think I d uh, disrespects uh, civilians and people that serve other people and do their job? Oh, these dudes civilians. They're civilians, but they all gave their opinion on me and what they didn't like about me, and I gave my opinion about back. Well, I'm just saying it was real. Like it was, it was pretty strong. Like it wasn't it's really. I'm not saying you don't have a class, but I'm just saying it wasn't. Like classy, like how you okay. conduct yourself. Okay, I'll wait till he's done. It's but, my turn. Yeah, I'm, I'm done. Yeah, you go ahead. Okay, physical See attraction. So, what's the physical attraction? I would love for you to get in detail. I mean, it's just not like if, if I seen you out in the grocery store in the mall or something. I just like, I mean, you don't, like I said, you don't look bad. I just wouldn't really approach like that. Damn. What's your type. My type. I mean. <laughs> yeah, I would love what you are physically attracted to, since you're not physically attracted yeah. to me, which I'm not really. I mean, I like. I like natural hair. Uh huh. Um, like, so I'm gonna keep it real. It's not so much like. Be honest. You can be pretty, but like the way you carry yourself can make you. I ain't gonna say ugly, but it can. All that go out the window. So you felt like I carried myself a, okay, aggressively. A little bit. I, like I said, I don't know if it was the the drinks, but it was. No, this. I wonder if they got security here. It wasn't here. pleasant. I say that. It wasn't pleasant. Yeah. Do y'all all feel that way? I don't see no. Point. I feel like y'all. I feel like y'all intimidated. <laughs> I feel like I'm a very pleasant person. I feel like I understand the physical attraction. Me too. I pay attention to detail. I feel like your dark skin, your hair is pretty. You got a nice look to your, you know, face, whatever. Yeah, appreciate it. Appreciate Me personally, I wouldn't put on no Dolce Cabanas because I feel like they played out because I'm into swag or whatever the case may be. That's all good. I feel like my- Damn! This fit is diabolical. Dolce Cabana, skinny, light, blue jeans with the ribs. Mmm. Dolce Cabana. Uh um, Dolce Cabana. My attitude is actually very She's great. Cooking, I feel like bro. any man that dates me is gonna be overwhelmed with me just supporting his confidence and me building him up. I feel like that if you guys don't like a woman that likes to have a conversation or maybe disagree every once in a while, then y'all should reevaluate reevaluate yourself. Um also, as far as you saying that I'm the type of person that you feel like if we were outside and a waitress or a waiter um said that I got into it with him or whatever you said. I'm sorry. I was kind of listening. Um, I think that is very, um, I don't know word. I don't know how to describe it, but I, mean, uh -uh. I go on five-star dinner restaurants all the time. People make mistakes. I'm not going to fault anybody or be disrespectful because they make mistakes. But if somebody says something to me, I am going to speak my mind, and then I'm going to give my man a chance to give me their opinion, and I'm going to go back. Head on back. Wow. Thank you. All right. Well, that is all the balloons popped. Mm -hmm. But we do thank you for coming on. Thank Let's you. go ahead and give it up wow. for you guys. I'll take this mic. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Horror. <laughs> okay, girl, you better walk. <laughs> Horror. Nah, thank you everyone for tuning horror. in to this episode of Pop the Balloon or Find Love. If you'd like to be oh featured in any goodness. of our upcoming episodes, the link to the submission form will be in the description box below. Make Damn. sure you go ahead and fill it out to be considered. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll nah, catch you all cooked. next time. Make some she noise, cooked all of them. <laughs> hey, look at this. As a traditional man, I want my woman to come pure. <laughs> Typical male hypocrisy. What do you expect? Nah, facts. Bro, I will never be on this show, chat. Come on, man. You know I'll never, ever go on these shows, bro. <laughs>